Hello everyone. All right, today I'm going to show an edit of a little bit more difficult image. Uh, this is one I actually shared a while ago, but uh, I thought it would be a good edit to actually show. Um, so the main thing uh, on this photo is I, I really loved the moment uh, with the wings spread out almost perfectly horizontal there. Um, I actually got really, really lucky on this and uh, really nailed focus here. So the bird's head is like perfectly sharp. Uh, as well as the grass it was actually kind of uh, hopping up to eat there. Uh, but the big problem for me here is this one piece of grass going right across uh, the front of the bird. Uh, this one down here is actually soft enough. I can kind of see through it. Uh, so I'm not really, a, uh, that one doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, but it's definitely this piece of grass uh, and this one just being a little light. So uh, here I am with the original photo in Lightroom. So uh, first step, hop over to develop. Uh, I'm going to crop it in just a little bit. somewhere in there looks good and uh, it was kind of harsh lighting conditions uh, it was a little bit later in the day uh, so I'm gonna push the shadows up just a bit see if I can get a little bit more out of the shadow side there and I kind of like the blue sky showing back there so I'm just gonna give it a touch of saturation there uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, the camera did a really good job exposing it uh, right off the bat. So uh, from here, I'm going to go ahead and hop right into Photoshop. First step, as always for me, scanning everything. Make sure there's no dust spots. This image is nice and clean. And I'm just going to get started right away on trying to remove this. So. Uh, I'm going to make a blank layer here and just start using the clone tool on that. So compared to my previous videos, obviously this one's going to be a bit longer. Um, if you kind of just want to see a little bit more of the finishing touches, feel free to skip ahead. but. Uh, if you want to watch everything, then uh, stick with me here and I'll show you how I would go about removing something like this. Uh, so I'm just using uh, strictly the clone tool right now. I'm going to get rid of all the hard parts first and then I'll work on the bird's body last. Um, I do use a uh, Wacom tablet, so all of this is happening with pressure sensitivity right now. Uh, I'm not really worried about how this kind of uh, the rest of the blade of grass goes into the other blade of grass here so I'm just going to kind of let that just kind of softly merge and uh, that should look somewhat natural when we're done here. Keep in mind uh, as well I've, I've also learned this over the years you know a lot of this kind of stuff I feel like when you're retouching something like this removing something like this uh, you can tend to get overly picky with noticing where you've actually worked on it uh, that's because you're actually watching it slowly remove. Uh, but when somebody views a photo like this for the first time, without the knowledge that you remove something like this, they don't really know what to look for. So they're not necessarily looking in those spots uh, that you actually worked on. And uh, chances are a lot of little kind of subtlety things that you may catch, uh, nobody's ever going to see. So sometimes you don't necessarily have to go into as much detail as you think you may. All right, so a little bit trickier spot here. We're actually getting into some feather detail. Um, just going to kind of sample right above here, try and keep some of the uh, feather texture in line here. A lot of the times what I'll do is I'll leave the, with a shadow to highlight transition like this. I'll kind of let that transition be a little bit harsh when I'm cloning it, and I'll actually remove it completely. And then I'll come back with the healing brush and uh, go over that with a little bit larger healing brush where we can actually let the healing brush kind of blend the, uh, the difference between the two there. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So in just a bit, after I get this edge of the bird here, I'll uh, switch right over to the healing brush, a little bit larger, kind of swipe through it and see what it does. So here was a scenario where it didn't really do too much good for me. Try a couple times, see if we can there we go, that's a little bit better. Uh, but I'll come back with the clone tool 
and just kind of clean that up a bit. I want that transition to be a little bit smoother. Little piece of that grass kind of shooting off here. Uh, switched over to healing brush. That should do a great job of getting rid of that, and it did. So the key with a lot of this stuff is trying to not create patterns, like I did right there. So. Uh, lots of resampling for the uh, source of the clone tool to create uh, or alleviate patterns, not create. bring up from here just a little bit of that textured feather edge so it actually looks a bit more natural so we're looking pretty good here uh, a couple of soft spots right there I want to deal with and then lastly the top edge of the bird's wing here so we just need to generate that again from scratch and then I'm going to come up and sample up here a little bit and uh, not worry about that right now So naturally, uh, the tones kind of ended up blending together there with the bird's wing, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. Um, back to this layer, add a layer mask to it, switch to the brush tool, and then I'm going to bring back some of this original piece of grass here so that, again, looks more natural. So there we go. Um, a little bit odd up here, I think. Yeah, just gonna kind of soften that with a larger brush. Still using the clone tool here. And that transition right there seems a little odd. So, soften that up a bit. I'm losing the actual texture of everything in there, so I'm going to actually sample or kind of select that entire thing. Move that onto its own layer and then add some noise to that so I can kind of bring some texture back to it. And I'll just paint a little bit of that in. There we go. Looks a little bit more natural. Try another layer there. All right, looking good. So uh, this shadow side is still a little bit uh, dark for me. So curves adjustment layer. Kind of punch up that side of the bird. Maybe a little bit on the underside of the wing here. Might be nice. Again, just be aware. Keep an eye out for uh, not creating some halos there. Uh, and the last thing I notice is no catch light in the eye there. So I'm just going to go ahead and add one in. Uh, the sun direction, the shadow direction is coming from here, so any catch light should generally be up in this side there. So let's try that. It's a little bit bright, so I'll just lower the opacity on that layer. Oops. Uh, I'll just mask that out, actually. There we go. Um, and now I'm going to actually kind of tone the image. So uh, curves adjustment layer to kind of darken some of this background, bringing attention more to the bird. And then like I had talked about, uh, this blade of grass here, kind of in the front and out of focus, is a little bit too bright for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and see if I can bring that down in tone a little bit.
little bit of contrast I'm painting in a couple of spots and I'm pretty happy with that so beginning to end so completely before after there's before again after uh, doing that clicking on and off I notice uh, kind of a weird transition right there a little bit splotchy so smooth that out uh, that's a good way to see some of the things you've done with it kind of you know before and after this is why it's great to do all this stuff on a layer uh, but there we go I'm pretty happy with that so I'm gonna go ahead and save that and there we go in just about 10 minutes it took me to go from I'll reset this one the original original on the right finished product on the left so pretty significant change and it was really nice getting that blade of grass out hope you all enjoyed watching this one 